Did you know that in Iceland, they have a special holiday tradition called book flood on Christmas Eve? People gift each other books, then relax and read them while drinking hot cocoa or eating holiday chocolate. Isn't that just the best idea? I love it. This year, I want to suggest you help your students have a book flood of their own by making sure they have a fabulous book, or maybe two, to take home over winter break from your school or classroom library. And that means making a special effort to help your students find a book they'll really want to read. What better way than a book tasting? Don't worry, I know you have a million things to do right now, so I'm going to share the quick step-by-step in this episode and provide you with all the free curriculum to make it super easy, so be sure to look for the link in the show notes. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers looking for more. More creativity, more engagement, more joy. And no more scripted curriculum, lesson planning ruts, or boring book lists. I'm Betsy Potash, and I'm honored you're trusting me to help. You're not alone on this creative journey anymore. Let's start by talking about what is a book tasting. Maybe you already know all about book tastings at this point, and that's great if so. But just in case, here's a quick review. During a book tasting, you set up a cafe-like atmosphere in your room. You can go as all in or as totally chill as you wish, but here are some ideas. You can pull your desk together into tables so it looks a little bit more like a coffee shop. Maybe pick up some Swiss Miss packets or cinnamon apple tea bags and cups. Turn on your twinkle lights, turn on your fun music, and scatter books you think your students will love around these tables. Then welcome in your students. Every student's goal is going to be to walk around with their book tasting paper where they can jot down a few notes and basically taste each book. Tasting means checking out the cover, reading the blurb on the back, maybe reading a review in the inside cover, could be reading the first page or two. If they know they're not liking the book that they're tasting, they should abandon ship at any time and pick up a different book to taste. If you've never done a book tasting before, this is a great chance to do a little bit of modeling at the beginning. And these are skills that students will really take with them from your book tasting so that they can find books that they like at other times as well. Once your book tasting is kind of off the ground, everyone is just going to wander around, maybe sip on their cocoa, and jot down books that they think they'd like to read. When the event is over, hopefully, they check out a book, or maybe two. So let's talk about how you might set up this book tasting pre-winter break. First of all, I'm going to be referencing that free curriculum that I mentioned in the opener. And so I really hope you'll grab it because it has like a fun um, title of winter break book tasting with imagery that you can project on your smart board or your whiteboard. And it has the graphic organizers that students can use as they walk around the room. So it's just like a really easy shortcut for you. If you want to make your own, of course, that's totally cool. So start by setting up your room however you want it for this last day before winter break. Unusual lighting, music, warm drinks, tablecloths, sprigs of pine, and jars with ribbons, anything that seems fun to you. What you want to keep in mind is what can I repeat? How can I create sort of a little kit for book tastings in general or for this winter break book tasting that I can reopen next December and the December after that and the December after that so that when you invest any time and effort into like creating a playlist or, you know, tying red velvet ribbons around six jars from um, your kitchen or whatever, you know you're investing not only in this event, but in all the events that you'll have in the future. Then once you kind of have your ambiance set up, you want to think about your books. If you've got a strong load of winners on your classroom shelves, use those. Amazing. Wow, that's great, but it's okay if you don't. If you don't, a trip to the school library and a chat with your wonderful school librarian is in order. 
Whichever route you take, hopefully you end up with a whole lot of solid books that you can put out in each class. And I'm just going to give you like a little note of caution here. Beware of putting out all your top favorites in your first period book tasting. You don't want the last period of the day to have you know, the leavings, the the worst books in your library or the worst books from your book haul from the school library. So try to distribute top favorites throughout the day or ideally like get multiple copies of some of the ones that you think are going to be super popular. Then before your students come in, you're going to want to project one of these winter break book tasting slides that I designed for you onto your whiteboard or smart board. And you're going to give students a book tasting sort of to be read organizer. So each of the ones that I designed for you, there's three options. They all just have a place for students to jot down a couple notes about some of their top favorites during the tasting. So maybe they put like the title, what they like about it another book that it reminds me of. So like reminds me of Percy Jackson or reminds me of the inheritance games and then a chance to put like any red flags. Oh, you know, I noticed at the end that it, it, I didn't like the author style or something. They can jot down if they notice a red flag so that maybe if there are a bunch of things they like about it, but only one red flag, um, they might still want to check it out, but they can kind of compare all their top favorites by the end of the book tasting. So they're going to be walking around. They're going to have their graphic organizer. Um, you're all set up now, okay? You've got your, you've got all your ambiance. You've, you've printed the graphic organizers for your students. You've projected your welcome slide. Now it's just time to enjoy your book tasting. This is really, it doesn't have to be like a really stressful thing. In fact, it should be exactly the opposite. This is going to be a low key, relaxing final period before break. You and your students can sip your drink, browse your books. They can jot down their favorites so they know they want to check out at the end of the period and they can enjoy the atmosphere. This is also a chance to connect to any student that you want to connect with before a break. If you, if you don't need to give out any reminders or do any checking in, then you can just kind of enjoy the books with them and make suggestions of certain titles that you think kids might like. Save a few minutes at the end of your book tasting to let kids check out books for the vacation. If you anticipate that a lot of students are going to want a certain book in your book tasting, again, you can try to have some backup copies ready from the library, or you can kind of have a QR code that goes to where they can check it out from your digital library system if you have access to e- or audiobooks, or you can have some kind of clear system for how you're going to, you know, do rock, paper, scissors, or spin one of those little internet wheels that chooses a number or whatever so that you can choose who's going to get the book and who's going to get it right when you get back from break. So that's it. It's simple. It's, it's a good thing for everybody. It helps um, students get ideas for their to be read both over break and when they get back it builds up enthusiasm for your library and it just promotes more reading over winter break so I really hope you're going to try this and I really hope you're going to love it. Thanks so much for joining me today for this quick episode all about how to host a pre-winter break book tasting. I really hope you're going to try it. Until next time take care of yourself and stay creative. Mm -hmm.